The mask that you are choosing to wear to fit into his, to his society. You're trying to endear yourself to him, to ingratiate yourself to him, to white society in one way or the other. This is why we don't just want money, you know what I'm saying, just so we can live better. We, we, we are looking for status. We think education makes us more white. We think going to school makes us more white. We think getting better job makes us more white. See, we don't want none of this stuff for the right reasons. We want it all because we think it pulls us closer to white folks. But at the same time, now we're getting back to our relationships with black women. At the same time, we act like we don't want no other woman but a black woman. It's it's weird. What, so what you want is, is a black woman in a white face. That's what you want. And what black women want is a black man in a white face. And because that's not a reality, we don't get along. Everything I'm about to say. You already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. One of the concepts of Franz Fanon was the black face and the white mask trying to explain the trauma of the mind of the colonized. Now I'm only doing this on the black alpha because I'm gonna tie this into a relationship with black men and the rest of the world. Franz Fanon's uh, philosophical understanding of the trauma of the mind of the colonized. How you have your true self, which is the black face, and then you have the self that understands what is expected of you from society, which is the white mask. How many times have I told y'all that y'all talk about Pookie and Ray Ray, but they are only reacting to the same system that you are reacting to, but they are doing so differently. That's what Franz Fanon was talking about. You see, I've been telling y'all this stuff without going too deep. In, I, I'm not trying to talk over your head and I'm not trying, and I don't like really using other people because to be honest, I've never studied Franz Fanon. I know of him and I learned of him only like a year ago. But the truth of the matter is, I understand these things because I experience it and I observe it for myself. When I look at the Pookie and the Ray Ray, I understand what I'm seeing in those brothers. So just like when I look at the Coons and Sellouts, I understand what I'm seeing in those brothers. I understand why both sides are the way they are. One side is just brutes, the other side is just Coons and Sellouts. But you are all responding and reacting to the same trauma of being colonized. Because you don't know how to be anything other than what you think they want you to be. Which is some savage, you know, in the hood or some coon sellout type person. And then you got the pro-black person in between. So you got those three. And this is why I lost my ability to communicate with black women. I'm 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 a, I'm a tie this in. Just, just give me a second. Please give me a second. Because this is deep. This is alpha talk here. What you have is not really a black face in a white mask. Because these same expectations that we try to live up to also come from within the so-called black community. It's not just a black face in a white mask. It's a brown face with a black mask in one hand in a white mask in the other hand. That's what you have. Because you are also expected to be a certain way by black people. And if you are not that way, they alienate you. Everybody know this here. I don't have a single white friend, man, but I don't get along with black people all that well either. See, the black mask say you gotta be Pan-African. You gotta start everything from an Afrocentric mm -hmm. point of view. That's the black mask. And when you don't wear that black mask, you disconnect from black people. And then if you don't wear that white mask, you disconnect from white people and the rest of the world. So now when you are just a man or just, just a human, you find yourself not really having many people that you can really connect to. But I can tell you that I've noticed probably over the last, particularly over the last 15 years, definitely, is that black women have become straight foreign to me. Straight foreign. I don't really know how to approach them. It seems like you can't just walk up to one and say, hello, how you doing? 
I mean, they so rude, they so standoffish, they go out of the way not to speak to you. It's, I'm not black enough, like hood enough for them, and I'm not white enough for them. Now, I don't have a problem with women of other races, it's just black women. It seemed like to them, I don't have the right mask on. All they see is a man. So because they don't understand what they're looking at, they don't want to talk to me. You can't, you can't be cordial with them. You can't be civil with them. It's the weirdest thing, man. Our whole culture has been debased. Now, what France Fanon was saying that I do agree with and what Fanon pointed out is how this trauma affect us going forward. Once you remove certain thinking, you'll never get back to it. You know what I'm saying? As he said, once you take away the worldview that built the pyramids, the understanding, the, the thinking that built the pyramids, you'll never have those again. Because that it's gone now. The white man has destroyed that. We'll never go back to that again. Like he said, once you get, you know, to get people back to a, a understanding of living without ownership, you know, mean that we all come from people that didn't believe in ownership. We didn't own anything. We lived in harmony, with e in an equilibrium with everything around us, you know what I'm saying? Once you get away from that and get into this Euro European devilish mindset of ownership, it's hard for you to think outside of it. And this is the problem I have with a lot of y'all. When I talk about the, 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 the desire of money, why I don't need money, y'all don't understand that because you are trapped in a paradigm that you can't think outside of now. You're trapped in a way of thinking that now, if I tell you we got to think outside of it, you can't hear it. You can't hear it. And to y'all, I sound crazy. This is the funny thing. To y'all, I sound crazy. But I'm the only sane man on YouTube. And I'm going to say that. There are no parts of this system I trust, I hold in high regard, or anything. We live outside of nature. So every time we talk about like the, the, the role of a man... To provide i just did a video talking about what provision really is y'all don't understand that because y'all have been reduced to thinking about nothing but money but money is not natural it is not a real thing money does not grow on trees it does not grow on the ground it does not come out of the sky it's not a real thing so if it's not a real thing how can our natures be dependent on something that has only existed for a few hundred years and every time I'm talking to people about building communities, first thing niggas gonna talk about is business. We're gonna do, we're gonna trade, how we gonna do, we're gonna border. Stop thinking like that. And this is my flaw. I don't understand why you can't drop it. That's because I don't have the mindset of a colonized person. This man has never enslaved my mind. Never. He has never held my mind. But he holds the mind of some 95 percent of us it's only a small that's why we call ourselves the five percent it's only a small percent of us out here that he doesn't hold any sway over and the truth of the matter is i'm not even sure if the five percent is even real no more i don't even, i'm not even sure if they exist anymore it might be down to like 0.5 percent or 0 0.005 percent because i'm not even sure if, if the five percent is even a real thing no more because i don't meet many people that this white man doesn't hold some degree of sway over the way they see the world he holds no sway over the way i see the world this is why everything i say to y'all sounds so crazy to y'all because y'all are y'all are judging what i say based on the based on his paradigm that has been shoved into your mind that's been force fed to you so you can't you cannot analyze my words objectively you have to strain what i say through the strainer of his systemic beliefs. And that's why you miss everything. Because the only thing that comes through is the bullshit. All the good stuff I'm giving you gets caught up in a strainer. And you toss that to the side. All you got is bullshit there. And, and this is the problem, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can reverse that narrative. Or, or, I mean, that example in the way you want. You get the point. You separate the good from the bad. And you keep the bad. Everything I'm telling you that's good, you can't... You do discard it. One way or the other, you discard it because you are judging what I say based on the mask that you are choosing to wear to fit into his to his society. You're trying to endear yourself to him, to ingratiate yourself to him, to white society in one way or the other. This is why we don't just want money, you know what I'm saying, just so we can live better. We, we, we are looking for status. 
We think education make us more white. We think going to school make us more white. We think getting better job make us more white. See, we don't want none of this stuff for the right reasons. We want it all because we think it pulls us closer to white folk. But at the same time, now we're getting back to our relationships with black women. At the same time, we act like we don't want no other woman but a black woman. It's it's weird. What, so what you want is, is a black woman in a white face. That's what you want. And what black women want is a black man in a white face. And because that's not a reality, we don't get along.